weather forecast. Hey there, good evening. Welcome back to News at 5. I'm meteorologist Julia Quady. As you know, it was a pretty cloudy and humid day, and not to mention gusty day for us here all across the coastal bend. Thanks to those southeasterly winds, it gave us a combination of all those factors for our forecast. That's why we're having all that humidity from those winds coming from the southeast. And also from those winds from the southeast, we got all this moisture building in the coastal bend, so that's what gives us all this cloud cover as well. So taking a look at our CCAC Whataburger Sky Cam, we can see very heavy, low-hanging cloud cover all across the area here over in the Harbor Bridge. So we're going to continue to see that in the forecast for the next couple days looking ahead to your work week. Thanks to all that moisture that's going to continue to build and be pretty muggy for us throughout the next couple days this week. But even with that muggy conditions, we're still going to see temperatures getting up there into the 80s like they did for today. And right now, even as we head into the evening hours, we're still seeing high temperatures still hanging on into the upper 80s in some locations. So in Corpus Christi, we're currently sitting at 81 degrees. We're out of town at that temperature as well. 83 in Kingsville, still in the 90s on over in Freer. We're still pretty warm in the upper 80s in Falfudius as well as Heavenville sitting at 87 to 89 degrees respectfully there. So again, very warm and muggy conditions as you step outdoors for us for this evening. And again, that is attributed to those warmer uh, winds coming in from the southeast with all that intense moisture coming into the area. And like I said, those winds are pretty gusty at times. We're seeing our winds clocking around 17 miles per hour in Port A, 22 miles per hour and over in the Bluff and NAS Corpus Christi and 29 degrees here in Corpus Christi right now. So of course, with those winds gusting at a pretty fast pace in some locations. For that reason, we do have a wind advisory in effect for some locations in the coastal bend. All the areas here shaded in yellow. So this includes San Patricio, Nuestas, Jim Wells, and Clayburgh counties. You guys are seeing those heftier winds throughout the day for today. So you're seeing winds going between 20 up to 30 miles per hour in those wind gusts. Those will be going up to 45 more, 5, 45 miles per hour for us here in the day. So of course, this will expire as we head to around 90, uh, excuse me, 9 o'clock uh, tonight. So we still got a couple more hours to deal with these heavy, windy and gusty conditions for today. So make sure you are driving carefully as you're heading on your evening commute because you may be feeling a little bit those wind gusts. Maybe move your car just a little bit. You might feel a gust of that wind brushing past. So make sure you are driving carefully as you head on your evening commute. But taking a look at our muggy meter, this is what those winds are leaving us with with all this moisture and humidity. So we'll be staying up there in that very humid range pretty much the remainder of your work week, even to the early part of your weekend. So we'll still be seeing those dew point values between 70 up to 75 degrees. So again, just letting you know how warm, muggy and sticky it's going to be for your work week for us as we we'll still have those cloudy conditions as well. But how that's going to translate to our low temperatures, it's also going to mean that humidity sticks around even into the uh, evening hours. So we'll still be seeing our temperatures not dropping too far low over most locations in the coastal bend, seeing our temperatures only drop to the low 70s here in Corpus Christi in most locations. So again, that's all a tribute to that humidity causing our air temperatures just to be a little bit warmer. And that's why we're seeing those trends of our temperatures during the afternoon hours being well above average as well. So tomorrow is going to be pretty much the same story, seeing our temperatures being up there into the upper 80s in most locations all across the coastal bend. Still cloudy, still breezy, but thankfully not quite as breezy as we have for today. We'll get a little bit of a break. We'll see our winds maybe clocking up to 15 or 20 miles per hour. So again, not going to hopefully need any wind advisories in effect for tomorrow. Thanks to those winds coming down just a little bit ahead for your Tuesday, but we'll still be looking at that trend of those warmer temperatures well above average until our next cold front is going to be set to arrive over the weekend. So with that, we'll see a bit of a brief break of our temperatures dropping a little bit closer to average or potentially even below average as you look ahead to your weekend. But then we'll see that gradual warm up as we get those southeasterly winds, of course, come back into the forecast. But ahead for our rain chances for this week right now, looking pretty non-existent, honey rain in the forecast just yet. But of course, thanks to all that moisture building in the area and that cold front's arrival, we do have a chance to get some rain back in the forecast over the weekend. Got some showers, maybe a rumble thunder to associate with those showers coming through over your weekend. But before we get there, we got cloudy, humid, muggy week ahead of us here. Temperatures mostly being in the low 80s.